Hey, Composing Gloves here, and today we're going to be talking about mid-ratios. So, what's the deal with mid-ratios? Well, we're going to be talking specifically about some harmonic series that we can generate from mid-ratios that may prove useful. As you saw from the last video, you don't need to go too far to create some interesting stuff, and you can add a lot of little things, and you now have an idea from the low ratio thing what a parallel process might do versus a serial process. Things will compound versus well things will you know come up in some to create a big difference or things will compound and sort of create this running cascading effect so when we get into mid ratios it's more about the relationship of the carrier to the modulator now when ratios stack up like let's say we've got two going into two we get an interesting versus two so when a ratio, so this is a ratio of two to two and then a ratio. So you can think of these sort of like fractions. So right now, let's bring operator one down to one. So it's one. So it's playing the actual note that I'm hitting. And then what well, I'm going to leave operator two at, oh, I'm going to take it down to one as well. So it's one over one. That's one. So the ratio is one to one. This ratio will produce some sort of a saw wave. And actually, that seems to be more like a square wave. So I know that if you do this. You get the saw wave, da 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 da. No, that is a square wave. It's just got a, a really high pass filter on it. So, by manipulating this relationship, we will get. So, let's say that our carrier is at one and our modulator is at two. Our harmonics spread out. And if we keep doing it, now that has a bit of both. And there you can see that these square waves, odd harmonics, tend to get the emphasis here. If we go up three, one to three, one to four. And so we can generate these sorts of tones. And now if I go to a triangle wave, it become a little more crisp and we get emphasis in the middle versus the mids and highs suffer. So it's just an interesting thing. So, okay, that's really cool. So what if we do a ratio? So you're, now the big takeaway is a ratio of two to two is the same as a ratio of one to one, just the frequencies are higher. Take this down to one, take this down to one. As you can see, boop, 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 boop. That's the big takeaway. So if you can learn your ratios, you can get a general idea of what's gonna happen later on. Now, uh, one other thing we need to take away from this is, since these are fractions and we know about our mid side sideband equation relative, you know, our general idea of how this works, we could take this two and this is three. Well, this means that, because right here, this was, if we went through our series, it'd be, 1 times 1 is 1, 100, you get 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, blah, 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 all the way forever based on the sideband equation I talked about in the sideband video. So what about something like 2, 2, 3? Well, this is going to produce in harmonics with harmonics every, like, I believe it's sixth. And as a result, you get a very different timbre. So we're generating a different harmonic series, a completely different series now. So if we think of another ratio, like let's say uh, 5 to 7, we're going to get another different series. And yeah, so and then you can go through and determine what it is if you want. But you can tell that if we do something that's harmonically related, like 2 to 4, those are octaves, and as a result, we know that we're going to get a, some sort of a, a general, like a saw or a square or something that's, you know, related to uh, a usual series that we're familiar with dealing with. And that's really nifty. So that's that's high harmonics in a, well, not high harmonics, that's mid ratios in a nutshell. Things sort of are the same when you get into high ratios, except for you deal with aliasing coming back down. We can control some of this to an extent with oversampling in Citrus and FMA, it's a little bit different. Now, again, you can put out multiple tones, you can do parallel processing, you can do serial and parallel, you, you can just do a number of things. And we know our general idea of what happens when we modulate one waveform against another, so this is, I think, a pretty complete description of mid-ratios, the idea of carrier to modulator relationship. Now, you may still be bothered by the idea, and I don't have like a good total answer to this. Um, so if we have a ratio of, let's just say we've got a ratio, okay, rewind a bit. So we have a ratio of zero to four. Will we get a sound? Yes. So it's kind of an interesting deal here. If we take this down. Because we're, we're still left in our equation with a number. 
So even though two is not going out, it's modulating against zero. But remember, zero in our equation is like way over here. So it's still got the plus or minus times the integer value. So a series is still generated. So that's something that's kind of interesting and not intuitive at all, unless you understand a little bit of the math. And okay, now let's say I've got one and then I've got it going into two and then I modulate two by two. Well, geez, what's the ratio of this to this? Well, we talked about this is a cascading effect. This isn't like when we do it in series from our low ratio, which is why it's important that you understand how low ratios work because they're very easy to hear and just grasp like that. So we know that we're going to get this sort of speeding up and slowing down, but it's going to happen so fast that that speeding up and slowing down will become a tone unto itself. And so we'll generate another whole set of a series because it's happening so fast. It'll so I'm combining the concepts from the low and the one where I go slowly. It's called, I believe the video is called hearing sidebands. And I'm, I'm combining those two because they, the, the change in the timbres as we increase generate a harmonic series. But the fact that the, uh, the cascading effect from the low ratio to the high ratio also generates its own harmonic series when it's happening that fast. And as a result, we get into a completely new harmonic series, which is one reason why uh, FM can confuse the living crap out of people when they do stuff like this. So they just don't, they, I mean, most of the times it's touch and see what's happening, but they don't understand why they don't even have an idea. They just say, oh, that's what happens. And so that's, you're, you're really messing with the harmonic series quite extensively. And so by bringing down our index or modulation or the volume, the modulation index, we can control which of those timbres comes out. So you know that when we touch this knob, we're basically touching the amount of sidebands allowed from that second harmonic series that's generated. And when we touch this knob, we're generating. So that's the one from the low ratio modulating back and forth. The doo -doo 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 if that doesn't make any sense, you need to go watch that video because I'm just done trying to explain that. But if we come over here, so that it's affecting that that speeding up and slowing down relationship, and then two is affecting the actual harmonic relationship going on from the modulation itself. And then there's another, of course, there's a modulation relationship between them both. Modulation relationship. I can't believe I've never said that before. So that's a really nifty thing to know about. And then in parallel, of course, it just increases the range, the scope of the modulation. You can see that it just got bigger. Our resonance essentially increased. And people will use these relationships to create filters that to cancel out with phase. And so you can create high pass and low pass filters or what, what appears to be filters. And you can see if we do it in parallel with different ratios, we're essentially combining the two waveforms. And then when they get combined and get spit out, we get like some variation on the two. So we have a really nifty way to create some interesting textures. Then if you wanted to, this is more for like a talky type sound, but we could modulate the volume. I'm going to link it up to a knob here. So when I turn the knob, it'll turn the volume on. Whoops, not one. It'll turn the volume on two and three on and off. And we'll get a sort of a, a talky thing going on here. I'm going to do three not so much. So the bottom. And I could create a more interesting mapping to try and get some vowels going on here. I could like do something like that. And on three, I could leave it right where it's at. My mapping's a little, a little sharp. And I'd go through here and, you know, fix it up. But... Uh, I could try and get some of that, that bow movement going in and out. So it'd be similar to my voice. So that's mid ratios in a nutshell and harmonic series. If you have any questions, let me know, subscribe and have a blessed day.